Hello everyone, welcome to part 2 of how to install macOS Mojave on a Windows PC and uh, today in this video I'm going to show you how to install VMware tools and how to increase your or improve your performance of a virtual machine um, that has macOS installed. First things first, what is VMware Tools? Uh, VMware Tools are a set of tools and software that improves your virtual machine's performance and provides a better compatibility for any third-party hardware devices such as your USB drives, your keyboard and mouse. This also provides or improves your graphics compatibility or performance. At the moment your macOS installation might be very choppy or it might be very laggy. After the installation of VMware tools this will be improved slightly but it all depends on the configuration your laptop or your computer that has. Meaning so the performance of your virtual machine depends on the type of hard drive you've installed it on and also the amount of cores you've provided the virtual machine and also the amount of RAM you've allocated for the virtual machines. Um, outside of that you can also install these tools which will improve your performance and compatibility. All right. There's two ways how it's done. Uh, the first way is you can download VMware tools from VMware website and then install them or you can download VMware tools from the link provided in the description and then install the VMware tools. To download VMware tools from the VMware's website you'll have to sign up for the website and then activate your account and then you'll be able to download it or you can just simply go in the description where I have uploaded the recent VMware tools in an ISO file and you'll be able to use that. The second way is to download and install VMware tools automatically from the virtual machine itself. All right, this does not work all the time or for all the users. It doesn't work for me. It is to work for the older version of macOS systems, but not for Mojave. But still, if you want to give it a go, you can install VMware tools from the virtual machine itself. All you got to do is open your virtual machine. Just keep in mind that we're using VMware Workstation 15 Player and not the Workstation itself because 15 Player is free, your VMware Workstation is not free so you'll be provided with a 30, day, 30 days of trial but then you'll have to purchase a license for you to be able to continue using it. So we, I recommend using VMware Workstation Player which is sort of the same thing. So once the virtual machine is powered on, you can go on the top left corner, click on the player click on manage and then click on install VMware tools. So what should happen is you will go and download the VMware tools and install it on the virtual machine. But for the moment it's, it's saying that it could not find the component on the web to server, which is fair enough, that's fine. And as you can see the virtual machine or the macOS Mojave is not sh displaying the proper resolution and the mouse is also very laggy. So we will fix that once we install VMware tools. So what I'm going to do is if the VMware tools is not allowing you to install it from the virtual machine itself, go ahead and download the VMware tools from the description or the VMware tool. I've provided a link for both the resources in the description. So I'm going to go is turn off the virtual machine. What I'm going to do is power the virtual machine off, shut down the guest, click on yes. And then I'm going to open the VMware Workstation Play again. And assuming you've downloaded the unlocker or the tools you needed. So there's an unlocker folder and there will be another folder called tools and there will be a folder Darwin and there will be a Darwin.iso file. So this is the VMware tools. So what I'm doing is I'm going to click on the virtual machine or your installation where you've installed your macOS Mojave. Click on Edit Virtual Machine Settings and click on CD slash data. What you're going to do is you're going to click on Use ISO Image File and Browse. So what you're going to do now is go to the folder where you downloaded the ISO file. So mine's on Desktop, New Folder, Unlock of Figure 2, Tools and Darwin and Darwin ISO file. Click on Open click on OK 
and now you're going to play the virtual machine or turn it on. So if you go to edit virtual machine settings and if you see that the um, option to select an ISO image file is grayed out, that means that you have not turned off your virtual machine. So what you can do is you can turn it on and make sure you've shut down your macros before you actually go and select the ISO file. So once that's done, click on it and click on play virtual machine and let the virtual machine load. And now you should see something called VMware Tools Drive on your desktop. Double click on it. And click on, double click on install VMware Tools. Click on continue. Click on install. Click on continue installation. Put down your password. I've had cases where I had to install the VMware tools twice before it registers. So if you I'm not getting any results or if it, nothing's happening after you've installed VMware tools is I suggest you install it a couple of more times and then it will um, give you all the resolution and it will make your system a bit faster. So I've read it in different forums. It has happened for a lot of users as well. So you just got to give it a couple more installations and then see if that. So the best way to figure out if the VMware tools you've installed is actually working or the VMware tools has been installed is try to change the resolution or uh, change your VMware workstation player to full screen from top left corner. There's an option called enter full screen mode. So when you click on it, your VMware or your macOS installation should automatically resize and take over all the screen or go into the full screen mode or expand. So if that's not happening, that means your VMware tools is not installed properly and you will see that it's a bit laggy. And other way to see, uh, find that out is just click on and then click on about this Mac. And as you can see, the graphics is three megabits or three MB. After you've installed your VMware tools, it should be at least 128 megabits or 128 MB, which is not, which is not a lot, but it will definitely improve the performance and that also shows that your VMware tools has been correctly installed on your system. So we'll just let the installation complete. Once the installation has been completed, you will see the restart option. Just click on restart and restart the system. So now as you can see, I've restarted the virtual machine and it's already full screen. So I'm just going to enter my uh, password. You can already feel the mouse being very smooth in the virtual machine. Um, given the fact that I'm, I am screen recording on top of this, so my system is being pushed a lot. So you, there's definitely um, a bit of lag to it, regardless of installing the virtual machine, because I'm recording with high settings. Uh, but on the system, once you've installed a virtual machine tools or VMware tools, you will see a significant improvement all right, so once you've logged in, you'll see a drastic improvement in your performance um, on your virtual machine. Uh, but uh, what I would suggest is you should remove the ISO file so that you don't get a prompt every time you log into the virtual machine. So turn off your virtual machine, go back to your virtual machine settings, click on the CD slash DVD and remove this and click on use physical drive and click on ok you won't be able to do that now because the virtual machine is powered on so we'll just cancel that and really you can check is go to your mac information and you will see that the amount of display your system has will be increased now as you can see it has 128 megabits of graphics which is not a lot but it will help you have a better performing virtual machine or a better performing mac os inside a virtual machine um, on previous version of, of mac os and a virtual machine you would be able to use something called beam off which would actually make you feel like the mac os is performing a bit faster or quicker it's not working with mojave so we don't have a beam off for mojave yet 
uh, for the time being we'll just have to use VMware tools which is not bad for the time being so I hope this helped give this video a thumbs up if it's helped and leave a comment if you have any issues thank you